I want to start with a statement. A statement very personal to me. A statement that you need to listen to. A statement that we must understand. Every 62 minutes, at least one person dies as a result of an eating disorder. Now let's think about that. 24 people every single day. So what does anorexia mean to you? Yes, I said the word anorexia. Bony, ugly, deformed. Well, I can tell you what it really feels like. When I was just the age of 12, I was diagnosed with anorexia. It all started from a social media post. You know, the kind, pouting, flouting, airbrushed to perfection. That social media post changed my life. I had to stop everything. My hockey, my dancing, even going to school. I would skip meals, often avoid fattening foods. Things like a simple sandwich, start calorie counting, constantly staring at myself in that mirror. Fat. Fat. I am fat. So after many nutritionists, counselling, psychiatrists and doctor's appointment, my family and I came to the conclusion that nothing was really helping me. Until that day. Another day, another doctor's meeting, another day of stepping on those dreaded scales. I looked down. 30 kilograms. I weighed just 30 kilograms. The doctor explained to me if I'd lose any more weight, I'd be hospitalised. And that was my turning point. I didn't want to end my life. So after a gruelling 13 months of starvation, pain and suffering, I am so proud to stand in front of all of you and say that I am a fully recovered anorexic. <laughs> and look at me. I'm healthy, OK? Sometimes stroppy. Ask my mum. 15-year-old. But I need to clarify something. Anorexia is not a diet. It is a mental health issue and it's something that is still going on today. One of the reasons why so many people don't reach their turning points is because the amount of pressure on young people today, influenced by them glossy magazines, 10 ways to reach that beach body, those Snapchat videos, filming what Kimmy K is wearing every hour of every single day, and those filtered Instagram posts. Come on, we've all done it. Nashville, Mayfair, oh, I've got it. Gingham, life is so much more important than having a thigh gap, a flat stomach, or some pointy jawline. So the message is, life is worth living. So let's live another day. And just remember, who are you calling fat? Yeah.